there is this magic touch which Maestro has because people, the moment they hear it's Carlyle's new work, it's Carlyle's new work based on a well-known play and a well-known film. You know, for, for people in our line of work, your ears just prick up and just go, how can I get this gig? For me, that's the most exciting project that could ever come uh, across your plate. And when Michael asked me, I was absolutely thrilled. I have designed a lot of new musicals and plays. So for me, it's thrilling to be designing something new. I'd much prefer when it's more challenging. It can also be much more rewarding. It's a world premiere. So to me, that's the most exciting thing. When you see that time period, it is overwrought with these crazy shapes and trimmings and bows and men in enormous wigs and the men are almost really more elaborate than the women are. So trying to take such an elaborate time period and put it on a body and not have it seem so odd to today's eyes, that really is a challenge. A lot of that is scale, color, and getting the shapes right on a modern body and then for a modern viewer, that is probably the most challenging. To have it so it feels lush and correct without being comical. So that, I think, is probably one of the most challenging things. My role as a set designer is to provide the scenery, which is sort of the, I guess, the architecture of the piece, and also the, the props, all the furniture, little like lamps, rugs, um, and then obviously the walls too. It's a quiet show, with, mostly with two people on stage at a time. So I'm trying to keep it, the scenery less intrusive while evoking lots of different places. I think that was my biggest challenge. And hopefully everyone likes it. <laughs>